Hi, I'm Ben Meyer. I remember when DSL first came out. It seemed like a great idea. But getting DSL was often a nightmare because providers were slow to roll out service, and installation appointments were really difficult to schedule. These days, DSL is available almost everywhere and can be self-installed without the weight and cost of a service installation. DSL uses part of your existing phone line for its connection. That means you can plug your DSL modem anywhere there is a phone jack in the house. In the old days of DSL, service providers actually ran a separate phone line into the house for DSL. But these days, a self-install kit comes with filters that you attach to the phone jack and any other device that uses a line, such as a fax machine. These filters keep the DSL and traditional phone signals from interfering with each other. Okay, usually this is what you get in a box. You have your DSL modem, a traditional phone line that works for DSL as well, an Ethernet cable. This will connect between the modem and your computer. These are the filters that you put on uh, any phone or, or phone-like items to uh, separate the DSL and the uh, phone signals and a, a power cord. So the next thing we got to do is install the filters. So I've got the filters here. Here's the phone. And the cord, this cord goes around over here. And uh, here's the phone line here. So I'm going to take the phone line out and just plug the filter directly into the wall like so and plug in the filter. So next we're going to actually plug in the DSL box. Um, it's clearly marked here, the DSL line. So we take this line, any actual phone uh, line will work uh, if you have extra around the house. You plug that in and just plug this into the wall jack here. And then of course you have to um, plug the thing in because it does take uh, electricity to use. So we plug this into the wall right here. You get some light going. We know that the uh, it's powered up. Okay, the last thing we got to do is configure the the modem, and we can do this by plugging in your computer to the modem and either adding an installation CD or not, depending on on the service. So I just plug this in. It looks like a phone cord, the Ethernet cord. It's a little bit bigger. And then I, I plug it into the modem here, like so. It's, it's marked. And from there, I can just uh, check to see whether I have a connection and configure it if need be. If you don't end up with the signal right away, take apart everything and try again. If you're still having trouble, contact customer service. DSL providers can often diagnose problems remotely and help you get up and running without sending someone to the home. Lastly, many people are foregoing traditional wired phone service and just using cell phones or internet phone services. In this case, you can request a naked or standalone DSL service without purchasing a separate voice service. In this case, the installation would be even easier because by definition, you would need to add filters.